Welcome everyone to some more Fallout 4 Game of the Year. I am back at Taffington Boathouse because you know what? I have neglected this place for quite a while. I need to really build it up. It's got some really nice uh, real estate here. And I've got plenty of room to build a lot more water production. You can see I've got a good bit right now. But I do have room to expand out more. And this was my first settlement. So I feel like I need to do some work for it. So today it's time for a massive overhaul of this place. I really can't do much with the house unless I install like a mod to just destroy anything in the game. But I can take care of the stuff I've already put in here. All right, first I'm taking out this entire little shack here. While it's going to lower my defense temporarily, I can at least get some stuff out of here. So let's get you out of there. Come on, go that way. Yes, now we're going to put everything away. So I don't sacrifice anything, really. Uh, that can get moved right now. I do want to be able to keep recruiting people. I if I just, yeah. Uh, come on, there we go. So what we're going to do... I want to try to line it up off of this and get this as even as I can so that we can basically have this kind of like as a starting point for building a wall that's the outside wall. I almost feel like I just want to enclose the whole thing, but the problem there is if I try to enclose the whole thing, it's not going to enclose back to this area. So I do need something that just kind of funnels along here. So yeah, let's go with more walls now. Of course, I have it, you know, where the outside is showing right. So now my problem is that the walls don't go quite as high as I would like. I feel like maybe uh, I'm still playing with this a bit. I feel like I should be able to get that to work. Upper floor, let's try that. We'll do like an upper floor here. And that should let me build another wall above yes okay so it's, it's doing like that I can't just stack on top like even to the side that kind of sucks what well, if I just want to make like a big metal looking warehouse top building how's that look even from the outside that don't really look like it fits that's not even come on yes yeah, give me something better than that I will right, we'll go with it for now. I'll probably rebuild this later after I get even better at building, but this at least gives me something to go with. Okay, now that I'm looking at this, I don't like it because it's blocking the road. I want this to be like a pathway, and I don't really think a door is going to fit right there. So we need to uh, take this back out and reposition things a little bit differently. Now we're going to use the shack upper floor because that's the only way I've found that I can create a corner then like that there we go so now I actually have a way to access on the road and I'll put like a, a door in here later they're not going anywhere and I mean yeah I've got that little spot there maybe I can figure out something else for that maybe put in like the little foundation that goes you know into the ground and now we're on the edge so once again we're going to do another upper shack floor i think actually you know what no this is where i need to do yeah foundation type thing i need to actually get this going a little bit uh this is the tricky part i've seen somebody else do something kind of like this so they could basically like stack it Making a whole, like, you know, wall out of concrete. And they had to do some really interesting tricks for it. Like that, you know, using the upper shack floor there. We'll take and move out this way. And I think that might, yes, there we go. So now I've got like a little concrete wall. And I'll, I'll keep going. A little bit more that way. I've got a lot of wood and concrete right now. So I can't build in the corner here. That's fine. I've got at least a floor that goes all the way across. Even though some, you know, ground is glitching through it. That's fine. So now, 
the design I saw somebody else kind of do is they made little troughs going this way, but to me that seems like it's wasting a bit of space. So I want to do instead like a set of uh, ducts, sort of little tracks for my water purifiers to fit in going this way. And so why use up this space when I can do this? We'll start with this and see how thick I can get this to work. And now we're going to take that out. And of course it's not going to fit, is it? Of course it's not going to fit. All right, now I've got this moved over. Let's see now. Come on, don't tell me it not it's not going to fit here. I wonder if it's the wire causing it to not want to go that way. Let me out of the water. All right, so now no wire on it. Okay, at least it's actually sinking down into the water now. Oh, I had it, you know, lining up right. Now it's not lining up. Come on, it turned white. Oh, look at that. There's something that probably could be useful to take out. Maybe that will help. Let's, yeah, let's do some diving and find what we go. Oh, yeah, there's a problem. Actually, I don't think that's a problem with me building, but, you know, this. Don't drink the water. Somebody rotted in it. Oh, yeah, there we go. Get rid of the branches. Now it works perfectly fine. So I think I'm going to try to have it where they face in that direction. Let me move this back. So now I have uh, another piece that comes out here. I need to take the wire out. And we'll put another one here. And if I can get this to fit quite right, then I might be able to just... Like, that looks... Like I can move this over. Let's try moving it over. Because the more I can cram things in, the better. And that's not working. But that works there. Okay. <laughs> this one needs to just come over a little bit then. Maybe. Maybe I can make this happen. And now, once again, it's not even going to turn white for me. It's like, ah, uh, nope, can't work. So I can't get it to build all the way to the end like I was wanting because it kind of collides with that. And you can see the unevenness, the, no snapping to this structure. So now uh, that's at least working. I've got room here that I can build a little bit more this way. And I've got another generator in there. What I want to do, though, I think is try building the same way out here but building using like this there we go so what i'm gonna do is use this section here building out besides being a nice little barrier on this side of sorts this will allow me to uh you know build some generators over here and have uh power feeding from this side rather than having to do it over that way I'm going to do some rearranging here. I'm going to start on the end because, you know, it's always good to, to build from the end that's harder to reach. There we go. All right. I think actually what I'll do is we're going to do another power conduit over here too. Or power, you know, pylon. I don't think this one's going to be... Well, no, maybe yeah, we'll do switched on it too, just to be fancy. Just to say I have another switched one right here. And I'm going to take that. Go there. And then that one. Oh. To go there. That, which will keep feeding up that way. There we go. So now it's time to start linking these up. And it's not going to give me as much water per you know purifier but now i can start filling in the little gaps here with some regular water purifiers not the industrial ones just give me a little bit more production 
and to make the most of the open space that is still left. And we'll just connect these off of the existing set. That way everything kind of feeds equally down like off the same trunk. And you know what? Yeah, we'll go same way right here. I go this one. Yes, I go that one. All right. So all those are linked. So I'm up to 270. I need more power too. All right. And now I have 330 water production right here. No problem. And I can now move all my power outside onto this little section. Makes it easier to get to. And we'll we'll get rid of this complication with all this stuff here. Like, having to try and feed it through there. That that was just a pain, let me tell you that. All right, and here we go. I've got my two little defense nests up there. I've got some turrets back up. Defense is back up and nice. So everything should be good now. Let's go ahead and get you up here. So, you know, you can help with some more defense. And where's that other one? Somebody else lost their job. Need to find you. Come on. Now, I have a whole new power structure in place. Basically, I've got a pylon here feeding all these. It feeds to that pylon there, which feeds over there to the top. And both of these are switched. So I can turn the water purifiers off. I can turn off everything else, basically. So I do have the option for that. And then these connect over here, basically to the other ones. I really should probably put another switch one here. Basically, that's feeding power from there, too. So i got plenty of power coming. I'll add some more generators there as needed and i'm going to add maybe some i might add some you know flooring over there and move the ladder right now i do have defense i've got a good bit of defense actually it should be all right for the moment against any attacks so i haven't had any major attacks yet you're you're on alert what's going on you're just getting nervous because you heard me walking up definitely think i'll need to add like a power branch coming over this way so i could do some spotlights perhaps but for now, I mean, I've got a lot of water production now, and I still have all of these growing plots going. I may actually clear some of that out. And, you know, I could actually build some kind of a structure out this way. I might could build up another floor and put a floor above this leading over here somehow and have just a floor covering all this. So this is enclosed and on top be a ton of garden plots and move all those upstairs. That's an interesting idea. So I can't build another floor right here. So I can either, I can't stack it up. I could get to connect like that sort of thing, but I cannot stack it up. I could build, ooh, I could build further over this way. One more, that's helpful to know. I might go ahead and do that, yeah. Because I, it, basically I need a way to connect this in and it'll connect like that, but I cannot connect on top. So, one trick I've seen people use was this. Build a stairwell, and then it connects to the stairwell. It snaps right in. And that means now I can just scrap that back, and I have a way to snap in another floor level. And, oh yeah, I've still got plenty I can build with these. And that just, you know, that just gives me this big, imposing uh, wall. <laughs> To it and I can I'll move that up later on if I need to I'll build another level up this way and just have the whole thing leveled up even higher so you'll have just this big imposing wall it won't be concrete but it will be at least something I may actually replace this later with actual just concrete walls all the way across so it looks even more imposing here and be like Taffington boathouse is not to be messed with you know what this is actually fine right here I mean I do not need that much space for really, you know, crops. And honestly, I could just leave the crops down there. This could be more like the big rooftop trading area kind of thing. Uh, I do feel like I need some sort of railing, though. And I kind of, uh, that, that's long, but crooked. I'd also already have pieces of it. So let's just do this anyway. Alrighty, here we go. I've got me a nice little area up here. I've walked to the edge. 
I am going to click right there. Yep, I'm outside the workshop area, so it does start exiting. But now I can move all of my vendors up here. They may get a little wet, but hey, it's the wasteland. They can deal with a little bit of rain. So I've added some more shops, and who would I be as a leader of a settlement if I did not at least give them some kind of lighting for the marketplace? So we've got some lighting. Obviously, this side a little bit longer than that side, so the lights are closer together there. Only a little bit of dark space in that one. Uh, I'm not going to even worry about this side yet, just because I don't have anything going up here. I'm thinking we'll add some more bars just to see if I can make sure to get that happiness up. But I feel like I'm pretty sure I'm close to everybody being assigned at the moment. And so I do want to do something else for that. We might want to put a few little lights here. You know, something on the outside here would be kind of nice to have. I may actually forego building up the whole gigantic wall aspect of it uh, for the moment. Just until I get things settled up better. I might I actually not even do the full size wall aspect. I may just stick with something a little bit more conservative, honestly. You know, something that's not over the top. We're actually going with this one. I'm going to put it right here. Kind of in the middle. There we go. That should, oh yeah, certainly reach. And automatically powers up the lights. Gotta love that part. You don't even actually have to connect these. They just get power from being close by. And we're going to put the same little treatment outside as well. So, you know, people know, hey, there's a, you know, friendly settlement if you are friendly as well right here. Oh, and about to get locked out. And, of course, if I'm going to add lights, why not add some security lights as well? So now I've got a spotlight on each corner. You know, making sure everything's protected. And so basically, yeah, it's like, don't mess with us. May not be the most protected looking, really, in the end. We don't have, like, clever sniping posts or anything. But we do have a nice wall. We've got some defensive turrets. You're not getting in without going through the water. Which, of course, you know, like, Super Mutants, uh, Aquaman, maybe some others might go that way. But, you know, we're, we're fine for the most part. And if it ever came down to it, I'm sure I could find a way to build some more of those, you know, concrete slab floorings uh, across to different areas over here and kind of block it where they can't just swim in. We do have super mutants up there. Not that bad. And then there was some up there, but I took care of them. Made sure to get rid of them so they're not a threat. So you know that part about maximizing my space earlier? Well, guess what? I've got room for at least one more water purifier right here off of this other branch i think i'm gonna actually have to go down to yeah we'll have to go to a standard water purifier but i might be able to fit one more over here as well yes i saw it turn white there we go and unfortunately not there because that is outside the range now we've got this we'll just we're gonna go to uh big boy and big boy will feed the little boys there we go and I am low on power again, <laughs> or getting low on power. I don't have enough to provide for everything. That's fine. It's time to add yet another generator, which I happen to have enough supplies to make plenty more. And now we're linked in and good. So 390 water, 70 power, 41 defense, 32 food, 16 people. And I feel like all my food is in use right now. And now, thanks to the flooring here i could always expand this way a bit kind of scoop these over have just a nice walkway that actually leads to the uh doorway That'll actually be worth it too bad i couldn't snap it to the doorway earlier uh yeah i might be able to get that to work if not then i have a crop area here i'll move some of these over and have this all as a crop area up to like this point and oh yeah i can move you too you don't need to be right there no need for you on that spot. We'll just put you by the door. May not be the best shooting placement, but hey, you're next to the door. We mean business. Well, while looking, I did find that I have some nicer door options. So we're taking this out. There we go. So door opens. 
and does not close when I'll walk away. All right, well, power door, it just stays open. So Sanctuary is 760 water. So still not quite there with Taffington, but Taffington will produce a nice amount of water. I just have so much more waterfront property here that I didn't have to worry about doing the mixture of the industrial and regular. Though now I'm thinking I need to add some of the regular ones too in this, the gaps where I can't place the larger industrial ones. Later on, I still have some more waterfront property over there too I can use. So this location will still continue to produce a lot, produce a lot more water. I just have to get a lot more power production going too. You can see I've got 115 power right now. All right, so that's going to be it for this episode. I really just wanted to focus on trying to do some settlement building because I have been with focusing on running around, shooting a lot of raiders and super mutants and doing stuff like that. I've neglected my settlements a little bit, especially the older ones, favoring more to Sanctuary and, of course, recently, the drive-in a bit. So I need to get back, do some work, try to make them super happy and at least make them more productive and useful to me. But next episode, we'll get back to shooting and blowing stuff up. And in the meantime, I'm going to do some more tweaking with both the Taffington Boat House, as well as getting some more work done with the drive-in. But that is it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, I'm your host, Mr. Spicy. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to keep it spicy this week, and I will see you in the next video.